Hey everybody, welcome to the start of a new series and you guessed it, you knew it, you voted on it. It's gonna be Iron Harvest and uh, yeah, I'm very very excited to play the game for two reasons basically. Number one is I do come from an RTS background, that is where I played, uh, well, I guess the better part of my youth. Yeah, Grandad played a lot of RTS games in his youth. And uh, the second one is the game keeps heaping praise upon praise and it went under the radar for me. Probably not for the rest of the world, but I didn't really see it. Like, I just knew it was going to be released and then forgot about it and found it like one year later. And man, it does look awesome. Got patched a lot and I did skirmish a little bit. I did play uh, the first campaign mission just to get familiar, do the sound settings, whatnot, so I don't look like a complete idiot. Uh, you know, you gotta hide that some a little on YouTube, so you guys don't only laugh at me, but sometimes with me. So, uh, but other than that, I'm quite inexperienced with the game, but that shouldn't be a problem, because I played, like I said, a lot of RTS, so we should feel right at home, just as I feel at home in a, any 4X game, right? Because under the hood, it's, it's very similar, and this is a very solid RTS game, more in the more on the strategic and the micromanagement parts than it's strong in its base building, like for example a StarCraft. But uh, yeah, that is that is half the half the battle in RTS. Anyway, let's get into the campaign and uh, we gotta go on overview. It's a bit cryptic here how to restart. There we go. And we're just gonna restart the campaign. And I'm gonna play on medium difficulty because I really don't know what to expect. And uh, it's been a while, my RTS muscles are a bit rusty, I think. I hope you can change this in-game. I think you can. I saw in the options you could. So, and I'm gonna play through the through the intro, even though I played part of it already. Um, yeah, just to familiarize myself with the controls a little bit more and to let you guys see the awesomeness that it is this tutorial. <sighs> Seeing it again is already filling my heart with joy. That's, by the way, how my neighborhood looks these days. It's snowing a lot Wait, what do you mean I in can't Germany. Join you? Guys can't throw or run fast. It will be unfair to the team you're on. But that's not true. Hmm? What are you going to do about it? Cry? <laughs> Cry, baby! Let's go! I'm the Polanyans! That's so unfair! Yeah, kids are really mean. I mean, no, really, really mean. That's, that's, it. you go, girl, you show them. I love how the, the voice actor put everything into it. What you gonna do about it? Cry. It's very convincing. Uh, apparently, I could destroy these snowmen. That's like a secondary objective. So, you know, if you got time to kill, you could go ahead and destroy this one. <sighs> We're probably not gonna do this. Um, that's... It's a little bit of a weird secondary objective, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta say. You're dead! Ambush! Take cover! Yeah, they're sticking to the theme, which I really like. Hey, she's not even playing! Mm-hmm. You're dead anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Kids do be like that. If I can, uh, if I can talk some slang here, they really tend to be like that. Okay. Yeah, but you're five and one. So uh, how about you take a nice cup of, you know, shut the f up and uh, just take it like a man. You said you're boys, right? There we go. I'm gonna shoot you in the face with a snowball. I mean. Oh, of course, you're only wounded. There. I'm gonna look forward to have these discussions with my offspring too. Like this that's way. that's gonna be my life for the next there. ten years. Over there? Every dice game you play, that uh, dice wasn't wasn't properly. I have to reroll. And you know, I love kids and all, but I also love I'll winning games. I mean, it's it is what it is, right? <laughs> you're you're a human being. And you don't you don't want to lose. And those lame excuses. Yeah, just come on, shoot the guy. There we go. Where is he shooting at? I should take cover. Yeah, we actually should take Perfect cover. Spot. Let's let's do that. That was a bit take arrogant. Okay, so now let's shoot him from cover. Find a better position. Uh, maybe we can find a better position. Maybe we could. Hang on. Um, 
What that didn't try yet. Can we take... Yeah, we can! Nice! Oh, I've been missing that in some games by a publisher that I'm not gonna name. That you can actually put waypoints on the ground with a shift or a control or whatever. In this game it's done with shift. Okay, so now we gotta hit this guy. Um, we're just gonna go like so. Boom. Boom. And then we're gonna queue up the attack. Take cover. Who's throwing ice? There we go. Come on, one more. Uh, bam. The Polanyan fighter kills the next Roosevelt. You're the Roosevelt. <laughs> the Roosevelt are coming. Fall back. And from now on, every hit counts. Hey, you were dead. You can run, but you can't hide. This way. Okay, round number two. Snowballs. I really love the way they set up that tutorial. It's it's such a good idea. I wonder how nobody thought about that before. Okay, so now we got a little bit of a strategy game in our hands, because they're actually running like patrol missions or whatever. But uh, we should be okay. Here. Take a snowball to the face. Um, okay, can we take cover here? And then we attack from there. That was a hit? What did you say about every hit counts? And these guys can't aim for chisel. Come on now, there we go. Apparently, Roosevelt is a is a slur in this game. <laughs> um, how we take cover now? This way. Perfect spot. I don't know if it's a perfect spot, but it'll do. There we go. And one more in the face. There we go. Okay, two down, three to go. Okay, that is a little bit... Um, I think they're gonna ambush me right here somewhere. Yeah. And there's, is there some way that can we outsmart them? No. Yeah, they're waiting here. And... Uh, piece of cake. Actually, if we go this way, I didn't try that last time. Of course not. Yeah, <laughs> it's scripted. I mean, you can't escape it, even if you know what you. Oh man! See what I said about kids being mean? Man, that's brutal. Five guys throwing on one. There you go. Show him. Should have grabbed one of them and stuffed their head in the snow. I mean, they. They did deserve it. It looked like they had it pretty much pinned down. Come on, let's go back to the village. Papa will be waiting. Or you could finally teach me to shoot. You did promise. I said did he? when you're older. I am older than I was when you <laughs> promised me. And how oh, else man. will I, I love defend that post. myself in the war? When the war breaks out, you'll keep your head down. I'll take care of you. And what if you're not around? Uncle Lech says everybody in Polania must learn to defend themselves. I'll always be there for you. Well, the boys did have me pinned down back there, and if it hadn't been snowballs, but... Oh, Anna, all right. But... <laughs> I know, I know. Don't tell Don't Papa. Tell Papa yeah. I'm going to regret Probably this. not the first time she uh, convinced him to do something <laughs> stupid. But... Uh, it's a very, very likable protagonist, by all the way. Right. There are deer in this forest. Let's be very quiet and try Until to Until they find go and some. shoot a random deer just to learn shooting. I mean, you could just shoot on tin cans. You know, that's how everybody All else right, does it. Take the lead, General. But uh, apparently not in Polanya. In Polanya, we shoot a deer. We shoot to kill. So there we go. We'll take a group um, and we'll follow these deer Over there. steps there. I see it. Over there. Over there. Let's go ahead and Here give it a shot. And of course it's running away. What? I was quiet. <laughs> Deer are prey animals. So they are very attentive. We need a new strategy, general. Mm. I'll hide in some bushes so they <laughs> can't. I think that they could smell you, and you so. Drive them in my direction. Especially you. Good plan. 
Just make sure you shoot the deer and not me. Yep. Okay. So then we're gonna hide in this obvious bush here. And of course the deer won't be able to smell me. Okay, now we follow the let's find some deer. How about we hide in here both? Let's get it into shooting range. Will we come? No, of course not. Okay, so we'll go around here. And actually we could just set up a path. Ah, I missed that. I'm gonna use it so much now. What's up, General? I did miss that so much. Okay, so now we have two control groups, and look, we don't have to do anything. Can drink my tea. Ah, very relaxing. Okay, kill some deer. <laughs> That's an excellent shot. Good hiding spot, but that was a terrible shot. I think something's wrong with this rifle. Look. When you pull the trigger, you can't wonder if we're going to hit. You already have to know. You see the target, you see how it moves, you feel when the time is right, and then... Pow! <laughs> Venison for dinner. I sure. understand. I, think. I love this Master Yoda type of advice, you know, you... How about you teach her proper, right? You press it into your shoulder, you take a deep breath in, and then while breathing out, you know, you find that spot for release, but... Take a proper stance, don't underestimate the kickback, all that stuff. No. She's park. going uh, all Master Yoda about it. Feel the enemy, you must. Where's that freaking deer? Let's do this. Yes. Uh, is all it right. up here? It certainly isn't here. Sorry, guys, for giving you uh, probably. Hmm? Sure making you seasick with my panning around. Walk in the park. Um, deer, deer. Oh, there's a deer. Hello. I walk in the park. I'm ready. Orders. Okay, where's Anna hiding? There Fine. we go. What's okay, so now we have to shoot it with the ability. I'm going and to apparently that hard. works. Good night, I, deer, deer. I hit it. Clean shot, butterfly. Papa will never believe me. He won't know anything about it. <laughs> yeah, it's like she already forgot. Oh, Don't right. tell Papa. And what a shot it was. Your best so far. <laughs> Joker. Ooh, this is disgusting. That's part of it. We don't kill for fun. Hmm. You get that advice in yeah, every like, movie, in every do, game that do you really think an animal is hunted. War? Sure. And this gotta make use of all the parts. We got it. The Nordic kingdoms, maybe even the Shogunate. The whole wide world. Will the soldiers come here too? To this dump? Why would they? <laughs> uh oh. Shoot! Shoot! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me control. Give me control. Come on, come on. Ooh, power shot. Hmm. To this point, I'm not sure, is that us? Or is it these guys? <laughs> Apparently it was him. Pretty good shot. With a rifle that size. <laughs> that was pretty close. Yes. Thank you. Must have been hungry. Hey, Arthur! Take the beast! It will make a warm coat for Siberia. You're going to war? To Rosvit? Aye. Defending the motherland against Rosvit aggression. Wow. Pretty impressive, huh? Wow, indeed, huh? Shmiali. Latest model. Shmiali. They won't even know what hit Shmiali? them. So awesome. Come on, the village can't be far. Y you're looking for Zaleshe. I'm from there, I can take you there. Well, then hop on up. Soldier. Head straight back, all right? Oh yeah, nothing gets boys excited like war machines, does it? Okay, and now we're left a 14-year-old girl to carry a deer. That that makes sense, and obviously without his weapon. Straight back, all right? And don't forget the roast. Ugh. Yeah, nice. Hello? Please take out the knife, come on, girl. Oh, of course, 
I'm gonna press on my fields. Oh, no. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, of course. The poor bear lost its mother. And now comes what every little girl would do. Mama, I found a bear. Can I take it home? Oh man. If he wants to defend his motherland, it will be a bloodbath. You know what those machines are capable of. Every volunteer receives the best training and equipment. And who knows, maybe one day you will command one of these. He will not. I won't let my son die in another meaningless war. Meaningless? We are defending our homes, our freedom. What do you want your son to become? A patriot or a coward? Like me? We will all do our part to protect Polania. Will you? I don't think the war will be that bad. And Uncle Lech will look after me. No. Everyone will be home by Christmas, boy. This is not a game, Yannick. It's... It's the right decision. You are a man and a Polanyan. You should be proud to be both. Come, pack your things. Yannick! Hmm. That's gonna be You're goodbye, going huh? to war? You heard him. Just for a few months. You are sure. leaving me alone. No. Never. I just want to protect you. The war is coming, whether we want it or not. Uncle Lech says the best chance we have is to strike fast and hard. We have to show the Roosevelt's and Saxonians that we won't put up with anything. We won't hide. But Papa says it's going to be a bloodbath. Papa is not a fighter. He would rather hide out here until the end of time and repair rusted farm equipment. He doesn't understand. Then... then I want to go with you. I'm doing this for you, Butterfly. Don't go. It's... only for a few months. Oh, that was very sad. And you can feel it already. He's not coming back. I mean, that's what war is, right? We have this plan. We're gonna go from the right and strike fast. Um, they said the war would be later. an adventure. Promising pride and honor. In the end. It would be five years. Years of torment and horror, like the world had never seen before. For the first time, the great nations of the world faced each other with weapons that could kill dozens, hundreds with a single blow. The war is over now. But it cost the lives of millions. Among them, Yannick, my brother, who wanted to be back for Christmas, who had promised never to leave me. Hence the Iron Harvest, huh? That's gotta be one of the best tutorials intros to a game that I've ever played in my long long gaming career um, that is really really well done but what can they hope to accomplish what we all want expel Roosevelt from Polania without the backing of our military well it looks like Uncle Leh is pretty successful so far they say the Roosevelt military attache is beside himself the resistance is outnumbered 10 to 1 all they do is endanger the truce and by God, we all need that. But why is there even a truce? What made Kaiser Friedrich and Tsar Nicholas agree to it? Why now? That is a good question indeed. Master Piotr! Master Piotr! In the village, resistance fighters, they are asking for you. Uncle Lech? No, but they say it's urgent. Go to the lumber camp and tell them I'll be there soon. But I want to... Go! Now! And no visits to the damned bear. Don't worry. Of course we're gonna visit the bear. I mean, that's... <laughs> what is this? Can I pick this up? No, I can't. 
Secondary bird objective, visit Wojtek. Wojtek's probably the damn Let's bear. Go. And we'll go to the lumber camp up here. Okay, gotcha. Um, what is that blue thing? Oh, that's us. Okay. Blue troops? What are they doing here? Come on, let's go hide. I'll get there. Better so use cover. The right. bear. So like I said, that's going to be really one of the very best intros to the game. Like you really get involved. The main character is so likable, um, so relatable. And I'll it's it's short and precise. You get all the controls. Um, you get to have a little practice right. fight. Can we cross water? Okay, we can't cross water. Interesting to know. It does look beautiful though. Whoop. I guess we found Wojtek. Okay, he did grow a little bit. She's been feeding him. Girl, you can't feed that guy at McDonald's all day. Okay, I'll give you a taste of that piercing shot. Take some cover so we don't... Oh man, if they're gonna kill the bear, I'm gonna be very, very upset. I only played until here so far. Okay. Ooh. We, we killed them. Are you all right, Wojtek? We have to go to the village. We have to warn Papa and the resistance fighters. You're on my way. Yeah, first of all, we're going to go to the to the okay. lumber camp. Because that is the secondary objective. Okay, so these here are primary and that here is the secondary. Yep. Be there soon. Uh, can we go through here? Yeah, we can. One, two, maybe uh, more. And what exactly are we looking for? Some egghead. A scientist or something. Here, in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Oh man, I, I love the Russian accent. I don't know why. <laughs> It's just... And if you've seen Limitless, that's one of my absolute favorite movies. And I absolutely love that Russian uh, mobster's accent. Come on, girl, shoot him. There you go. And we can maul. Okay, that's like this. And then she can finish him off like that. Okay, so that was five soldiers. That's probably about the max we can take out. So that's that's good to learn. Uh, Wojciech is very strong, but he's not undefeatable. Um, but he can heal, right? Yep, he does heal. Okay, you can't really directly control him. Um, you can... Yeah, Wojciech heals uh, nearby allies and us. And automatically attacks enemies in range. Uh -huh. So you can't really control him, um, and you probably want him to be to be healed up after each of the fights. I'll get there. So let's check out the the lumber camp in be just a soon. second. Okay, so here's some supplies, I medical that. supplies. That's good. No Rusviets. Hmm, that looks useful. That looks very useful. Select the damage unit and click right on the supplies to heal cover. that unit. Okay, where do we have the... Select What's the damage next? unit, that's you. And then... Looks like a safe spot. Right? Ah, Let's whatever. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Oh, look at you! Group of armed villagers. Oh, look! Forest fairy, <laughs> elf, fairies have wings. Ruzviet soldiers, I, they're looking for someone. Ruzviet, here? There are resistance fighters in the village. We have to warn them. Stay here, we'll take care of this. Not a chance. Papa is in the village too and I am the best shot. I'm coming with you. Secondary objective complete. Okay, what is this? Broken down mech. Termite what you mech. Need? Cool. Let's check this out. Broke down a few hours ago. 
That mm -hmm. thing isn't going nowhere. Oh, that's too bad. I thought we got our first mech if you complete that objective. Okay, so now we can cover, cover, cover. You guys group two. Okay. Um, let's see. We can ambush this here's cover. And where else can we find cover? I guess we can all find cover here. And go avoid check. Okay, how many are Two for five. That goes a lot quicker with a bit of support. Very nice. We're getting good at this. We are getting good at this? Killing people? Sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. War is great when you're on the winning side, but uh, not so great once you start to feel its effects. Didn't it say it heals the... Wojciech can heal those guys as well. Oh yeah, he does. Okay. That's a pretty slow heal, but maybe we can level that up somehow or improve it. And uh, war tends to be not so great when it drags out, you know? And that's what war just does. Once you get in it, you don't get out. But history seems to be repeating itself over and over and over in that sense. Oh man, the camp's beautiful. Uh, Why I get philosophical right there? Very, very, very good looking game. What's next? Um, we got a med pack somewhere up ahead. Right. Huh? All right. And I can't see much in this thick forest. Okay, so we gotta go back on the road, and we're gonna How do that, and then head towards that village. Moving. I'm listening. And I guess uh, kill some Rusviets because we're really getting good at this. Can always use and we'll see if we can find that. But we'll see that in the next I episode. I think this here is a very nice spot to uh, take a quick break. So I'll do just that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, there you see the first. That's what war looks like. Um, oh, there's a red point on the map. What is that? Oh, that's that patrol that was going back and forth. Well, we can skip those guys. I don't think we get any bonus for killing them. Anyway, that'll do it for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you like the series, and uh, just give them a thumbs up if you want anything changed, if you don't like the audio, whatever. Suggestions, put it in the comments. I'm open for everything, as you know. And I'll read it all and take it into account. Other than that, nothing left to do but wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you around for the next episode.